What's up YouTube, Kevin Wolf with 123. Um, I'm holding the webcam, that's why it's shaky cam. Um, because I've got stuff all over the place. Now you'll see in the video what we get. But there is stuff all over the place, like everywhere. It's on the sofa, it's on the stool, it's on the floor, it's on the table. It's, it's everywhere, it's, it's breathing. You find it in your pockets and yeah. But anyway, so I went to a couple of car boots. Two, one that we've never been to before. And one that we have been to before, but it was like a long time ago. And they're a bit of a distance out, and so it's a bit awkward. But you guys have been asking for episodes, so we've travelled out to these areas. Um, just, yeah, so we can do an episode. There's Harry in the background peeking in. So yeah, we got to a couple, um, found a few bits. Not super special, some good stuff. But um, yeah, the first episode uh, is just going to be chopped up like normal i don't know how much footage there is i'm doing it now actually so i don't know what footage there is um there's not a lot and they told us to get there at i think it was like 10 harry's crying in the background as every time whenever you do a video he starts but yeah so uh they told us to get there at 10 strictly 10 o'clock we got there half nine thinking we're being clever and being early and turns out people have been in there for an hour already and got all the stuff so that's probably why we didn't find anything so that's really annoying second one was later we had to wait a long time for it to open um but yeah it was it was all right uh so what's going to be is chopped up footage for the first and the second boot sale might be raw i'm going to call it rawish so there's amanda messing about in the background so i'll put you on the camera <laughs> <laughs> swearing she's swearing it wasn't me um but yeah um the second one will probably be rawish uh just neat and just to make up the episode so sorry about that but yeah there's not much to see in the second one so hopefully that's okay, and she's sticking her tongue out, and I'm going, and I'll see you in the pickups. Thank you for watching. Bye! So we're at a boot sale we went to a long time ago. A long, long time ago. It's quite far out. Um, they told us it don't start till later, and it's already rammed, like, so many cars. Like, ridiculous. So their site's a bit misleading, saying it starts later, but it's clearly open already for a long time, so we're probably going to find nothing. But you never know, we'll still look. Let's go. Morning. Have you got any more computer game stuff? Like the Wii stuff? Or is that everything? That's the Wii stuff. I don't know what you got. Oh, it's there. Oh, okay. Is it all together? Yes, everything. How much How much you after? 15. 15, okay. Got a Wii, Batman, Mario Kart, Mario Galaxy. My brother packed it all away to all mixed books. Okay. He said everything's there. Black control. I don't know, I'm not too sure. Like, it's got some alright games in there. I think I'll leave it for I think I'll leave it for someone else. I think I'll leave it for someone else. It's not bad, it's a 15 quid, you got Mario Galaxy and you got Mario Party. Stuff like that. Yeah, Seth don't need it, but I think you know. I'd rather another kid got it. Morning, have you got any more computer game stuff? No, that's it. Okay, yeah, I didn't realise you said it opened at 10, so we got here late. Thank you. I think that's how it's going to be all day. How much are your uh, games, please? Uh, two pound each. Two pound each. Yeah. That's all right. It's not too bad. Let's do what Terry's after because she's got a PlayStation. What? SSX and for Speed. Yeah, so I'm a bit tight, so 
I think I'll leave them for two each. Oh, I'm in back. I really need a new back. Look all them guns, Nerf guns. Wow. Spotted a couple of wee titles in that little clear box. I say little, it's actually quite large. Uh, that large clear box. I think it was like Wii Sports and a couple of, you know, shovelware titles for the Wii. Nothing worth picking up. The guy even put it back himself. But, yeah, I think everyone's got Wii Sports now at some point in their life. So, yeah, passed on that. Morning. You guys got any computer games at all? Um, got some PS4 games. PS4? Yeah. Do you know what ones you got? Whipchart 3 yeah. and Battlefield 1. Okay, how much you after for them? Battlefield 1, 25 and 15 for I've just got a PS4 Pro, so I've been after The Last of Us. Cheers. Batman Begins. That's cool, isn't it? If it was Blu-ray, I'd probably be jumping on it. Well, that was a waste of time. There weren't many games, was there? Not many Blu-rays either. No, not really. Not much of anything that was worth... I didn't see anything Harry Potter today, apart from yeah. all of them wearing a hoodie. Saw a Harry Potter DVD. But um, you never know till you go, do you? Like, yeah, there's another one to go to, we see how that is, but this, the only problem I found was that this one says come at 10 and everyone's in and packed at half nine. Garfield. Need a belt. What? Nothing. Here's two games. Gran Turismo. No, it's Gran Turismo. in my pocket because my trousers are gone. Yeah, lovely day. Ridiculously nice day. Nothing there. Clothes. That kid's already got his candy floss. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find much. <laughs> oh yeah, how much is your Space Invaders? Uh, it was after a tenner for it, because we're going yeah. for quite a quick oh, okay. break, but I'm open to a, you know, an offer. If we don't have to take it home, as long as it's not too cheeky. Okay, it probably would be cheeky for me. <laughs> it's a vintage one. Yeah, it's a new one though, new system. Yeah, it's a new thing. Ah, oh, they're stereographs. Stylograph? Styrofoam, that's it. Remember them? I used to have one, didn't I? Did you get me one? Yeah. I really wanted one. Wouldn't they be like, some of them say, um, Ralph Harris on them? That's cool, isn't it? It's cute. They believe. Yeah, Ralph Harris. Styrofoam. That's, uh, a bit dodgy now, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing so far that's any good. Grand Turismo and a overpriced. Nothing in here. Yeah, I thought this was a new row, but yeah, it's nice. It's over here. <laughs> Come on, we've got to find one thing to make the day worth it. Is it with the games, the PlayStation? Yeah, just like the bundle. Yeah, yeah I'll take that if that's alright. Yeah. You know what? I literally just bought that printer. Have you? Yeah. Literally the I other have. day. <laughs> I paid, I think it was 20 quid because yeah. of the shipping. It was oh, the shipping. Right. Yeah. You know what? Can I take the printer as well? Yeah. You know what? I'll get one for my boy. 
<laughs> Thank you. Have you got a bag, man? Yeah. Oh, you got the control for it? Oh, no. Are the games in there? They are, aren't they? Yeah, sweet. Okay, brilliant. We'll stick that in there. I'll take the print. It's fiver, it says. Has it got the cassette thing? Yeah, it has. Yeah, it was annoying. I bought it to um, make labels, and yeah. the uh, the part that makes the labels wasn't included. So I had to pay another £25 because they don't make the yeah. label bits anymore. But it's exactly this printer. I can't believe it. That box here, this head there. Have you got any more gaming stuff, or is that it? No, that's it. Um, I am selling a Wii. But oh, right. But okay. It's about 70 quid. Oh, is it a Wii white one? Uh, yeah, it's black. Wii version, is it? The original, um, not the Wii U, Wii U. The, old, no, no, the old school yeah. one. Okay, thank you very much. That's really cool. <laughs> Monster wrestlers in my pocket. Hang on, let me have a look at these. These are the old monsters in my pocket. I'll take all of these. Yeah, I was just looking at all these. I was going to take them. Is it all 50p a bag? Yeah. Yeah, can I take the lot? Yeah, They're wicked. Right, what have we got? <laughs> this is. You can carry all this. One pound, two pound, three pound, fifty. But the Lego, you need any stealing all your stuff? Yeah. Oh. Fine, you got any old man. toys? Any more old toys? I love. Oh, you got the Bucky O'Hare? That's the. Is this the Bucky O'Hare? Yeah, it is. How much are you after for this? Fifty p. Fifty p. I don't think I've got room. Right, so what about this? Four quid. Four quid. Alright. Thank you. Do you need another bag? Um, we might do. We might do, yeah. Is it alright to nick one off you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're rare now. There we are. Thank you. Okay, thanks. That's awesome, that. Cool, isn't That's it? well cool. I used to have that one. Miss, I was always missing the head as well. No, he's got the head. Oh, he's got the head. Yeah, oh, wicked. Thing, but no, no, all the bits are missing. Stick with the 80s. Thank you. That was awesome. That was really good. What well, do you need it? I need it, but it's pretty good. You need? What do you mean? What was there? Was it just blocks? Yeah. Well, some have got figures in. Would you want to get it or not? So we'll come back around. You sure? You need to carry this. Stuff. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Which one's heavier? I'll take the heaviest one. Oh, wicked. It's Daryl, yeah. He's smart, isn't he? You haven't. How much are you after? I've just got rid of all my stuff, you see. So I'm like, I've got a load of Marvel. And it's just like, if I, I don't know. If, I, went, I went to um, one of the uh, LFCC and I got a few things signed there. But it's, it's so addictive, Pops. You buy one and you're like, oh, we'll get another one, another one. And I've got loads of them, that's my one. And I've just moved and I'm just sort of having a bit of a clear out. Yeah, I don't know if that's good for Connor, because he, he's, that's what I'm thinking. We'll pick it up, it's pound to me. How much is it? A couple of quid. Not much. If it was boxed, I'd be like, yeah, but. It's up to you. I don't, I don't know. Okay, uh, take a quid for it. I'll go on. Oh, you're a legend. So for a friend, you see. He's got. He bought um, a few of the uh, signed figures. Hang on, I've got a quid. Yeah, he got some. They're so expensive, the signed ones. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, this is heavy. That's wicked. You take the light one then, yeah. Six. That's so good, all that stuff. So, so far, so good. 
yeah, I'm happy now. I saw them and the guy was like reaching over. I was like, no, I'm having those. <laughs> I'm not sure. How much is your ET, please? This one. That one, twenty-five pound. It's unopened, boxed. Oh, was it brand new? Yeah, it's never been opened. I did have one, but um, I gave it to my lad a long time ago, and it never had the jacket. It was always after the jacket. My friend's got one. I'm just thinking for him. They're. Um, well, I've seen them go on eBay, but I'm just unopened. But eBay it, mate. Take it. eBay it. Well, it's only mess around. Yeah, I suppose the hassle, yeah, isn't it? Hassle, isn't it? I'll have a think. Oh, it's not for me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's got the light in the yeah, chest as well. Yeah. I used to have one. Yeah. That's a pretty decent price, to be honest. Just thinking. I'm sure Kieran got two of them or three of them. I think. I'm not sure. I know he likes CT, and I know. I don't know his last one or the other one. You got any more gaming stuff? Um, what is that? No, just that that's everything. Yeah. No worries. Thank you. Should we go back up here and then look at that Lego again for you? Should have got it if it was good. Oh, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Brain training in there. That's cool. I oh, know, yeah. Heart training. That's pretty cool, isn't it? That's what you're looking at. Little amp. Oh, that's cute. That's not something your brother would like. Pretty cool. I like the amp, that's really cool. What we got here? I think this footage will be up raw, so hopefully I won't have to do too much. Slab of chocolate. Somebody must have got in really early, even for us. Oh, we got there just up there. It was a load of. Uh, you yeah, saw me. No, yeah. I see you. Yeah, yeah. you got there. Good, really good. What you got actually? Yeah, so I'm, somebody, I'm well like chuffed. You said you got loads of cards here and these things, like loads of back cards for transformers. She said, oh yeah, someone got them already. Oh like, man. What in here? What else? <laughs> I love the AE stuff. I've got a friend who collects monsters in my pocket, so you know we'll be it will be well chuffed. I'll check out their pocket. Oh, I wouldn't be saying. I just you know for what I cost because he's a a mate. It's all good. I'm after games mainly myself. Yeah. And nothing there. I found um. We got some PS2s. Yeah, I've yeah, I got um a load of NES stuff the other day. It was well, I wouldn't say the other day. A few months back, that was well good. Hello, mate. Oh, I'll let you go. Yeah, sorry, have a good night. It's alright, mate. Oh, someone got all the Transformers back cards. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Legos there if you want it. I'll take both bags if you want to take that. Yeah, I was going to go, go and ask. Oh, there's a wee. I can't see what games are on it, can you have a look? Yeah, you got the hands. Yeah, of course, he's really friendly. Oh, <laughs> look. What games you got? Chubby, it's like the air. Uh, oh, not for us. Senders. That's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. What were you looking at? This is the Lego. Anything there you're after though? Is it all like Lego City? Um, I don't know to be honest. Does it on the back? Uh, yeah, if it says it on the front. How much is the Lego for Jenga? Uh, £2. How much is the Lego for Five pound a bag. Okay. Um, <laughs> gonna leave it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Then I'll sure. put it start. I'll put it over. There's some more like fit, um, more um, cars on that from 
I think it's turtles, but it's missing a lot of the stuff. Uh, That's pretty cool though, the Bucky O'Hare. Yeah, I've got it in the bag. It's yeah, in. one in the box. It wasn't Bucky, I don't think, was it? I probably missed it now. Do we look at all these? Yeah, do you want to go back? This one's new. Which one? This one here? Yeah, they're not set up. This is well heavy. Yeah, I know. You know we carry it. <laughs> no, I'm on about two's really heavy. Can I carry the light one? Good morning, mate. Have you got any uh, computer games at all? Sorry, we don't know. No? This is probably the lights, but they're both heavy. That one's heavier. I think that's it, you know. Do have another look? It's up to you. Should we just have a look down this road? Because we've just done that one, haven't we? That was wicked, though. That's some good finds. I'm sure it was two pound a bag for the Lego. Don't know why it went up. Oh, it said it on the front, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I would have got the two, but five things a bit much because I'm not sure what's in there. A lot of bits a bit. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else down here. Oh, my back, it's not good with these bags. These bags must be like five kilos each. When your back's gone, it's not good. That song, always, forever in my head. Stupid dance till you're dead song. It's in my head forever. Be in my head till I'm dead. And carrying this bag around, it'll probably be very soon. Walk back up. Oh man. <sighs> Did you realise they'd weigh this much? Let's go. Don't see anything there. That guy got a transformer though, that's well cool. Alright, <laughs> what we got? I think that's it, isn't it? I don't think there's anything else here. I've my kid upset. Probably got like a million doubles for their monster in my pocket. It's not being so too bad then, is it? If we find something, it makes the day worth going. I would have paid more for them bags of toys. I would have been happy to do that. The printer, man, I can't believe it. I bought that printer. But Seth literally said, can you get him one? Madness, isn't it? Funny. Well, funny. So that's it. I think this is a new boot sale. I'll go out right for something to eat. I might get something on the way back. Now I'll leave it till we get back. But anyway, that's it for that. We've actually got some pickup. Okay, welcome back. Um, the footage I watched back, which was a bit annoying because there was power lines in the first and second boot sale. The first one wasn't as bad. The second one, as you were walking near and near, it was like bzzz, and it was really annoying, and it was getting quite staticky on the camera. The video seemed okay, but the uh, actual audio was a bit weird. So if you were putting up with that, I'm very sorry. Nothing much I can do about it. But as I said, there wasn't much to see at the second boot sale gaming-wise, so to chop it up into pieces, the episode would have been like seven or eight minutes long. So I've left it raw, so hopefully that's okay with you guys and you enjoyed it anyway. So if you did, give us a thumbs up. And now it's the pickups. There's stuff everywhere, so to pick it up and show it is going to be really awkward. Sorry, I'm looking that way. The TV's there. I can't put it on top of the TV. Yeah, it's, it's a right pain at the moment. So um, the retro stuff we got. Well, so we got this. This needs cleaning. Uh, this is the Toad Croaker from Bucky O'Hare. If you're old enough to know what that is, if you haven't seen it, look it up. But now and again, you look up the old TV shows and they end up being absolutely crap. Um, yeah, but this was like a childhood favourite of mine. But yeah, that's the Toad Croaker. 50p, which is wicked. It does need a clean though. It's really dusty. But that is going to my friend Graham, along with... 
Or I'm going to get this knocked everywhere now. Right, so I'm going to get these names wrong. I think it's Willie. And he comes with his hat that's usually missing, which was really cool, in the bag of toys. So he's got that. Dead-Eye Duck. Missing his gun, sadly. He's very cool. I think it was quite a lot of people's favourites. <laughs> We've got... I don't know what this guy's called. Robot Toad. I'll make that name up. But yeah, he's included as well. That's going to Graham. Uh, what else was it? The... Uh, I think... Where is it? There it is. And Bucky with a gun. So yeah, me mate Graham, he's having that a lot. You know, I said he can have it for free. Just pay the postage. Because I'll hook him up, which is good. And I've got stuff for everyone. I've got stuff for all different people. I've got people saying that they want stuff... Um, from there's people in America and there's well just everyone's after it and I've just said to a lot of people pay postage and they can have it because it was 50p for a bag it's not too bad so we got some more toys I don't know how we're going to go through all of this but uh, I'll try we've got guys from Turtles like this guy Rat King there's, there's so many to go through we've got guys from Toxic Crusaders Toxic Crusader uh, we got Turtles again. Uh, turtles. More turtles. We've got Marvel characters. Uh, more turtles. Uh, yeah, Marvels like Silver Surfer. Uh, we've got He Men. Like really retro He Men. These ugly things. Uh, yeah, just basically a mixture of everything in the box. Loads of stuff. There's probably like 50 figures there. Um, so yeah, they're all going to different people, um, one way or another. We also got, uh, the, well, it's a printer, there's not much to show. So we've got a printer, tested it and it works. I used the ink out of my other one because this one was run out of ink. Um, let me pull the power out. The, uh, ink went in fine and it printed fine. Lovely little printer. And it prints really, really good quality photos, so... You see them, pick them up. They're called the Selfie Range. S-E-P-H. Hang on, hang on. S-E-L-P-H-Y. Selfie. And I think they're just really good printers in general. Quite, I don't know, it can be quite expensive for the ink. But they do wicked quality prints. And I'm not sure. I think that one's going to go to my boy because he was after one. Because he saw mine and he was like, I want one. So, you know, I'll hook him up. we got Monsters in My Pocket, which are here. We've got, this is Season 1. Series 1, not Season. This is Series... Oh, shut up, Kev. Series 1. We've gone... For, well, I say we've gone through it. Amanda's gone through it. And they're going to all different people. Um, I just thought, should I keep them all? And then, uh, you know, have a set. But they're just... And they're a pain to clean as well. You know, to have them all on the shelf, they're going to get dusty as anything. And to clean them is going to be a pain. I need, you need a glass cabinet for them, really. And there's, there's loads. They're everywhere. They're there. There's bags there. There's bags there. They're basically, they were bags this big as your head. And they were what? How much do you reckon? A kilo odd each? Maybe a kilo a bag? Of more than a kilo maybe bag. more than a kilo bag. And it was, how many bags did we get? Was it five? It was uh, five. Four, but three was, only, three was um, those, I think. There, basically, it was loads. There's tons. They're, they're everywhere. And we're just going through them slowly. Um, but yeah, sorry about the video. What happened was... We did all the video Sunday, and I was going to do it. I was going to put it up. Uh, but I didn't edit it because I was in so much pain with my back. So I took some painkillers, and today was really bad. Um, this morning, I got up. My back was aching. I got in the car. My back locked up completely, and it got to the point where I was driving home, and I couldn't breathe. It was just <gasps> like that. I couldn't breathe because it was hurting so much, and I was get my body was all going like weak and numb, and I, was, I just was like hyperventilating, basically, because I couldn't breathe from the pain and I, I just rushed myself to the doctors and I was like I really need help I'm, you know I feel like I'm going to pass out um, got some strong painkillers um, took them and once I kicked in like now I can I can move and I can I can breathe all the way in but when it's like that it's really scary I was in so much pain fair enough what's that question question Amanda buying more Harry Potter Lego she's got <laughs> she says shh She's got she, the shelf behind there. Harry Potter is like her they eBay is just know. constant. They what? Don't they, don't care. they don't care. They don't care. Okay, I don't care. They don't want to know. Yeah, they love Harry Potter. These guys love it. I've got 
no Harry Potter stuff. She's got no Harry Potter stuff. She doesn't collect it. She's just... Just everywhere in the house is covered. So where my games are like that, hers is like that with Harry Potter. So yes, but we never seem to find Harry Potter stuff. It's always Kieran finds Harry Potter stuff and then gives it to us for what he paid. He, yeah. he gets it everywhere. It's like, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, wherever he goes. We go and look for it, nothing. So yeah, all we saw was one DVD today. What else did we get? We've got Daryl. Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. He's cool. Yeah, he's kind of focused. Injured Daryl with a arrow sticking through him. This is going to our friend Connor. Um, he's collecting. He likes Walking Dead. He's after some Walking Dead pops. You know, for a quid, just pay the postage and you can have it. You know, so I'm happy to help people out when they need the stuff like that. But it's awkward because I've had it before where people have said on YouTube like, "Oh, if you see Transformers or if you see um, wrestling figures and stuff like that, can you send them my way?" And it's just, it's just impossible. You can't just go lists of people finding stuff because you end up going and spending. You know, a thousand pounds, and then people. And what happens is, as well, you go like, "Oh, I just found this." Now I know Connor will want this, but you'll be like, "Oh, I bought ten figures for ten pounds," and they're like, "Oh, I don't, I don't want uh, the figures anymore. I've got those ones." And then you end up like with ten pounds worth of figures you you don't know what to do with. So, you know, it's easier to get the stuff and uh, try and sort people out as you go along. What else did we get? Was that it? No, it's PlayStation, wasn't it? Play, still got a sticker on it. PlayStation set five pound, and inside it is Gran Turismo. Um. It's all good, all working. Uh, missing the control, which is sad. But I don't know what... To, see, the thing is with the PS1s, I've had so many in the past, and it got to the point where I just stuck them all in a box and left them out the front of the house. And then people just walked past and helped themselves. But they obviously they didn't help themselves to one. They took the whole lot. So, a bit greedy. So, um, yeah, I don't know. This might end up outside the front of the house. Someone will get it. Uh, you know. Or keep it for spares. I, I don't know. You never know. But, yeah, that's got Resident Evil 3. Uh, it's got the manual. Yeah, it's got the manual. Lovely condition. A couple of scratch marks and sticker on the front. Get that off easy enough. Wicked game if you haven't played it. And it's still got a HMV sticker on the back saying 19.99. And it came with this kind of white demo. You can just make out. It's got like, it's not scratches, but it's like engraved. Kind of see it there? There. It's like a PlayStation engraved in the background. Um, it's like a demo disc and a demo one. Everyone remembers Demo 1 if they had a PlayStation back in the day. Comes with Crash Bandicoot as well, which is awesome. But that's two in one weekend, which was mad. You can't find one, then two come at once. Don't need to see that. We've already got, you know, seen that before in the uh, other video. Am I missing anything else? Um, I don't think so. I think that's it. You've got all the old figures, yeah? Yeah, you got the old figures. But yeah, they, they were the cool little figures. And then, of course, it was just loads of monster in my pocket. That guy had a massive transformer. That thing was huge. I can't remember what it was called. So if you guys know, what was that huge transformer he had called? I think it might have been a scorpion of some sort, Decepticon. Um, yeah, so that's really good. And he said he did say that someone had uh, all the tra Transformers backing cards, I think it was. Someone picked them up for us. But someone's gone along and picked them and missed out on all the retro toys. Don't know, but it's cool to find retro toys because you never, I, I never seem to find them. So, and I loved Monster in My Pocket back in the day, but it's weird. Like you, you kind of get the memories back. You pick them up and you're like, oh, I remember this one. And but they are very basic. I mean, when you look at them, <laughs> they're just very. I mean, you could probably 3D print stuff like this now. In, in fact, you definitely can 3D print stuff like that. It's very basic, but you know, still pretty cool. But that is it. They are, they're meant to be ugly. They're monsters. You know, they're not handsome know handsome chaps they're... in my pocket. Not just ugly, but they just don't look nice. Like... In the 80s, they were cool, though, weren't they? Oh, I don't think they've ever been cool. Well, what do know. you guys think? I think they were pretty it's cool. It's just, you know, personal preference, isn't it? But I don't really yeah. like them. But Bucky O'Hare figures, they were awesome. I, I did want a set for myself, but I'd rather than went to a home to a guy who's already got a load. And it will help him complete his set. So yeah, he's just paying the postage and getting them lot. But they are wicked. That I used to, actually, I'm going to start watching it again. See if it's any good. But I did watch a few of my old TV shows like Darkwing Duck, and that was terrible to watch that again after all these years. That was really, yeah, it was it's shocking how bad it was. And I hear Dungeons and Dragons I used to love as well as a kid, and I hear that's really bad. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, and if you leave a comment, I'll always reply. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.